the first highlight is when I first arrived, um, a very noted member of the congregation, Leon Gaspley, who was the deputy head of SLED, had passed away. And it was a huge funeral. I had never seen anything like a SLED even um, stopped, the, you know, held up traffic on the freeway and had lines of, of highway patrol cars and police cars on, the, on 26 and leading all the way to the sanctuary. And of course, it was the old sanctuary back then. It's the chapel now. And, um, and so it was filled to the brim. And, um, and Todd Jones, I think, because I was brand new, he assigned me to go help the ushers. <laughs> they're, in the, they're in the back. And I'll never forget, they had Dozier Ragsdale and Al Krillin. <laughs> they may not, you know, back there then. And of course, Strom Thurman, who was, uh, you know, very connected with SLED, arrived and arrived early. But, um, but, um, um, the, the other set, the junior senator at the time, who had already been a senator for I think 30 years, Fritz Hollings, came late. <laughs> and Al Trilly and Dozier Ragsdale were a couple really good Republicans. So I was I was very concerned. I was very concerned that Fritz Hollings, I guess I didn't read my James about God being a respecter of persons, but I, I came to them and I, I said, we gotta find a seat for Fritz Hollings. And Al Krilling said, he can just sit in the back on a chair like everybody else. <laughs> so <laughs> I died a thousand deaths, but um, old Fritz just went in there and sat. We didn't get a, but anyway, that's the first remembrance. Um, two uh, unique men, Al Krilling and Dozier Ragsdale, who uh, um, I, I came to know and love <laughs> really well. <laughs> and uh, um, anyway, that was, uh, that was my first memory. My second member I want to share um, is Todd. Um, we had a lot of visitors. Back in those days, Columbia was a growing enterprise. And we'd have a, a, a good number of visitors every week. I mean, 30 or 40 visitors a week coming to, coming to Westminster. And that was its high growth period. And uh, so Todd teamed me up with probably one of the finest Christian men I've ever had the, the pleasure to know. Um, if they, took a, if they took a picture in Webster's Dictionary uh, 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 to describe a Christian gentleman, it would be H.P. Rain. Um, um, it's no lie they named the school after him. He's, and and back, back in those days, he was probably the most well-loved man in the St. Andrews area. And um, so uh, every Wednesday after the Wednesday dinner, uh, B. Rain and I would go and visit and visit folks um, who had visited the church. And it was just, we always had a prayer beforehand. And it just was a, a deeply, he was a deeply spiritual man who just simply loved Christ and loved, loved children. Um, um, in fact, I, and that was a high, one of the highlights of my life that I had the opportunity to go out every Wednesday evening with B. Rain and just be with him for a couple hours visiting. And, uh, um, you know, after he retired from the school district, he went down to North to volunteer his time down there to, for underprivileged children. And then, I, I, one more story I wanna tell on B. And then he went to work in the Lutheran church downtown. He was there at their um, uh, um, um, after school at the latchkey program. And we always, I don't know if they still do it at Westminster, we had a big Halloween. Uh, um, well, we call it a fall fall festival. And B made all these games like Bop the Witch and Kick the Devil and, <laughs> and all these kind of things. They had Bobby for apples. But anyway, he brought his latchkey kids in this old dilap big dilapidated bus. And all of a sudden we had 30 of these kids from downtown Columbia out just running around Westminster and all these well-behaved Westminster kids and these wild kids. And it was a hoot. And anyway, they, those kids had a great time. And at the end of the evening, as they were piling back in the bus, there was a little boy who, uh, who kept on tugging on B. Rame's leg all the time. And I think his name was Dexter or something like that. And, and B. finally goes, Dexter, what do you want? He said, Mr. Rame, if you're still alive next year, can we come back here again? <laughs> Well, anyway, so I wanted to I wanted to give a couple of fond, fond remembrances for uh, for B. Rain and my uh, dealings with him. And uh, I suppose the last um, um, memory you can you know, I you I could keep on talking for a long time, but um, I actually had the first wedding 
at uh, in the new sanctuary. We, we were planning our wedding and uh, McGregor's sanctuary was too small. And we wanted to have, we wanted to invite both, both, both congregations to the wedding. And, um, um, and, but they were building the new sanctuary. And, um, and we heard that the new sanctuary was going to be done in midsummer. And, and so we thought, well, well, if it's midsummer, they're always late. So if we have the wedding, the first part of October, we chose a Sunday because it was always better. It was always better that you chose a Sunday when both the Gamecocks and Clemson were away. So we picked October 3rd. And, and all of a sudden, the rain started. You know, and this is, you know, and, and pretty soon, the middle of summer turned to be the 1st of August. And then, and then it quickly became apparent that the sanctuary was going to be done. I'll never forget, you know, I kept on going to my, uh, my future mother-in-law and say, you know, I'm sorry, but they're not going to have the organ <laughs> in the church in time. <laughs> and so anyway, I, we, it was so under constructed that when October 3rd came, we had to beg the contractor to let us go in there. And there was still a John Deere tractor in the, in the sanctuary. And, and we covered that with canvas and the, and the floor. And my father-in-law, Luke Gunner, was the um, registrar at the University of South Carolina at that time. And they had, and he used the, I always felt honored. He used the same red carpet uh, squares to, to, to put a, a um, carpet in the a, a one week's, a one weekend's worth of carpet in the church that Pope and Billy Graham used because that was the year of ecumenical, uh, whatever it was. Um, at University of South Carolina. So my father-in-law, we laid down, we laid down red carpet squares from the University of South Carolina. We, uh, we, brought, in, we brought in chairs from both Westminster and McGregor. You know, we had a bagpiper and a violinist rather than an organ. And um, anyway, that was, a, that was quite a wedding, you know, as you, you know, uh, um, as uh, um, that we, uh, we, we had the, and of course, Todd had a great had a great homily. I'll never forget it. How you know um, the sanctuary was still under construction, and that's the way we needed to view our lives and marriage. That it was something that God was still under construction. So, in typical Todd Jones manner, you know, he pricked the, he pre, he did a wonderful meditation. Um, uh, and also Tom Glenn, who shared in the who was the minister that time um, at McGregor. Um, 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 did the other you did did part of the service too and uh and that was quite a memory you know uh getting being the first to probably some folks who still remember that that i was uh, if they're old enough that i was the first uh the first wedding in the under constructed uh sanctuary at, at uh, westminster i just like to tell the congregation that um the vitality of the church is not determined by its size but by its commitment to Christ. And don't worry about num numbers and things like that. Um, worry about how you can be a mission to where you're at right there, how you can shine the light of Christ to the St. Andrews area. And that would be, you know, because there was a, there was a vote about whether to move Westminster, to merge Westminster and McGregor back in those days. Uh, and, um, um, and folks like B. Rain uh, wanted to stay because they wanted to be a community church for the St. Andrews area. Probably the better choice would have been to join McGregor because it was towards Irmo and, it, you know, and with, you know, strength to strength, you could have, you know, you know, would have made, who knows what would have happened. But Westminster decided to stay there in St. Andrews. So be proud. You're a Presbyterian church in St. Andrews. And that you're in an area where people need you. And you can make a difference. And uh, all the other stuff will happen after that. And just to put the gross stuff, I think sometimes we worry about that too much. We need to worry about our spirituality and our commitment to Christ and our, and our prayer life and, and that kind of thing. And then and the rest will follow. 